And welcome to Encourage and Word of Brief, Daily Word of Encouragement from the Bible. My name is Dave. I'm in Killarney, Manitoba. I really appreciate the fact that you're with us today. Yesterday, we talked about a prison in our mind, fear. Uh, it can be debilitating. It can keep us from doing many things that we want to do or feel we should do. Uh, today, we're going to talk about an actual prison and a physical bondage. In Acts 16, we read that Paul and Silas are beaten and imprisoned. The Bible says they were stripped and beaten with rods. After they had been severely flogged, they were thrown into prison, put in the inner cell, and their feet were fastened in stocks. This is a physical bondage that includes severe pain, embarrassment, and also physical immobilization. They can't move. Um, but what they can do, in spite of their limitations, is they can praise God. And the Bible says that about midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God, and other prisoners were listening to them, and suddenly there was such a violent earthquake that the foundations of the prison were shaken, and at once all the prison doors flew open, and everyone's chain came loose. Praising God has the capacity to invite God's presence into the worst circumstances you can imagine. And when God is present, lives are set free. Not just your life, but the lives of those around you. Something happens. This is hard. Believe me, it's hard to praise God when you have been living in torment, in physical pain. But what are your options? You can stay in torment or you can give God praise. Now, no one's gonna force you to ignore God, but neither will anyone keep you from praising him. It's your choice. There is power in praising God. Try it. I invite you to encourage God's presence to come into your life with your praises. And you may be surprised when you see not only what God does in your life, but what he does in the lives of others. Man, there have been story after story after story of people who have praised their way out of the most difficult of circumstances. You know, just last night in our church, we had a choir from Watoto in Uganda. And most of these kids were orphans. Um, the country, Uganda, has been through some horrible um, uh, disasters, uh, man-made disasters, disease, horrible things. And uh, these kids have faced it and their families have faced it. And yet to see these kids worshiping and praising God, see the victory, man, not only uh, do I see the energy they have and the encouragement they have, but the people who watch, they also are energized as they see the power of God at work in these kids' lives. So I want to encourage you today to invite God's presence in through praise. Take a few moments just to begin to praise God. Thank God for his goodness, for his grace, for his mercy in your life. We have so much to be thankful for. Let's pray together. Father, thank you for your grace in our lives. Thank you for your power. Thank you, God, that you're still working. God, the last chapter has not yet been written, and we can be set free as we praise you and lift our voices and our hearts to you. And so, I, Father, I pray for every person today that's watching. I don't know the struggles they're facing, but I do know there's power in praising you. And so, Father, today I pray that as we lift our voices to you, we can be set free physically and spiritually as we acknowledge you and your presence in our lives. We give you praise. In Jesus' name we ask it. Amen. Thanks so much for taking time to watch. God willing, I'll be back tomorrow with another word of encouragement. Trust you have a great day. God bless.